Ladies and gents, welcome back. Another quick one before I head off for the day. We've seen some really absurd things come out of Canada recently, and then it finds out we find out later that they were funded by the government. A really notable one recently was the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy associated with increased traffic crash risk. <laughs> this is uh, car accidents or caused the correlation or causation. Uh, I was really unsure here, but uh, Sunny Brook scientists suggest an underlying hesitancy to get vaccinated against COVID-19 may be associated with increased risks of traffic accidents. That's right. Even if you're a pedestrian walking on the sidewalk, you just might have a car run into you because you're hesitant about vaccines. The study finds it's it, it was absurd and the media ran with it. And even Dr. John Campbell uh, did a video talking about this uh, COVID vaccine and road accidents. And uh, yeah, he blasts right into it and and very much fairly doing so. And I, I definitely recommend watching his video. I'll leave a link in the description down below on that story. But that's not the story today. Uh, not uh, in in particular. What the story is is the funding of these things. And amazingly, uh, we had uh, Palminder Singh who found some interesting documents showing that the that study itself was funded by the tune of fifty thousand dollars by the government. Uh, here's the evidence, and he has he has um, the the receipts obviously to to prove it. So. These uh, this doctor in particular who wrote this uh, study got 50 grand from the government in order to do so. And, and it was the purpose for it was encouraging confidence in vaccines in Canada. Uh, promo science grants supports organizers with strong track records. Anyway, this was one story that we had recently but this ties into another story that we have uh this morning so a viewer of the channel pointed this one out to me sent me the link for this uh just uh, <laughs> unreal vaccination confidence in canada online conversation and audience analysis so this is com this is the government commissioning a a study to be put forward it doesn't say how much they're going to pay because obviously there's bidding that goes on the the bidding will be up a, uh, for another seven days three hours and 58 minutes as of the time of recording this video but what is the description here in preparation for increased vaccination education promotion and outreach the public health agency of canada some say p hack it looks like fact to me is requiring the services of a consultant to analyze the vaccine related conversations on social media so they want to scour the internet and look at what you've been saying about this and analyze it so the conversations on social media and p hack social media initiative and campaign performance so how well have they been doing they want an outside consultant to come in they're going to pay him money to come and tell them how they've been doing now this is like another one of those like wag the dog situations are they going to come back and have somebody say thanks uh thanks for all the money uh i'm just going to give you raging uh raving reports about how well you've been doing on social media or are they going to scrutinize it? i don't know i don't know what's what's going on it sounds a little intrusive if you ask me the government is commissioning an outside consultant to go around and check out people's social media and their and their conversations about uh, vaccine related things, anything vaccine related. The consultant will analyze vaccine related conversations and their participants on Twitter and social media channels, including Reddit, blogs, forums and news spanning up to three years of historical data so if you think you could just shut up about it and the government's not looking no 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 no. they're they're archiving this stuff and they're they're checking out the old stuff whatever you've been saying for the past three years the cult consultants will analyze p hacks or facts social media initiative and campaign performance including content engagements and the campaign's influence on vaccine related conversation the contract duration refer to the description above for the full details so there's all these trade agreements and yada yada it does not they are not going to conform to the french and both french and english uh, because this official languages act does not apply to this one in particular but yes they want to partner with businesses 
to get your information and analyze it uh, in, <laughs> in the government. If that's not creepy, I don't know what is. But what do you think? What do you think about this? What do you think is going to end up happening? Uh, unsure. Unsure. Because the, the last one, it was just... Uh, uh, studies to, or it was, it was government trying to encourage uh, vaccine confidence. It led to scientists making bogus studies. That's that's what happened. So what's going to happen with this one? Leave a comment in the comment section down below with your predictions of what you think is going to happen here. Uh, I have no idea. We're not. I'm not sure. Like I said, it could end up being that they come and they they, you know, thanks for the money. Uh, we're going to tell you exactly what you wanted to hear or it'll be, uh, well, thanks for the, the money and uh, here's a, an actual report and who knows, who knows. I think it's creepy to for the government to be snooping on everybody's social media, but that seems to be their purview these days. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe today. Hit that notification bell, lets you know when I go live and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on drugging.